there are private jets, and then there are private, customized jumbo planes that are larger than most people's homes. Drake recently debuted his own private jet, a converted Boeing 767 described as overwhelming unreal madness. Since singing to Lil Wayne's Young Money music label in 2009, the Canadian rapper has become undeniably wealthy. Throughout his remarkable career, which has included chart-topping music and breaking world records, Drake has accumulated a net worth of $180 million, although many people say it's considerably more. He also has endorsement deals with a slew of businesses, including Nike and Apple. Drake's earnings from Apple Music and Spotify are said to have brought him $100 million in 2018. He received a Boeing 767 private jet in 2019 to go with his car collection in mansions in Toronto and Los Angeles. Cargo Jet, a freight airline located in Mississauga, Ontario, gave the celebrity Air Drake, which is worth over $185 million. So, why would Cargo Jet provide such a large airframe for Drake? In case the answer wasn't evident, allow me to enlighten you. Publicity. Drake has over 30 million followers on social media, and as part of the agreement to hand over the lavishly renovated Air Drake 767-200, the rapper promised to shoot and share images of his aircraft while on tour. We're not sure why Cargo Jet desires so much attention from Drake's fans. Drake's jet features leather seats, excellent taps, plenty of legroom, and no armrest bickering. In this video, we'll take a step inside Drake's luxurious private jet. Let's enter Air Drake. Drake showed off his new Flying Paradise's bespoke paint job, replete with his OW emblem, when he received it in April 2019. The rapper has long admired this enigmatic creature, which is an Egyptian hieroglyph for the letter M. It was also included on the cover of his 2011 mixtape, and he has been seen wearing clothes with the Nate Willis-designed OW. Additionally, he uses it as a logo for his corporation group, OVOXO. Drake's Boeing 767, which is 23 years old, was recently renovated to accommodate the rapper's tour requirements. Renovation costs alone are estimated to be in the neighborhood of $100 million. Age, on the other hand, is just a number. Another significant number is 180. That is the vessel's length in feet, with a 156-foot wingspan to match. The 767 is 52 feet tall. The aircraft's exterior is painted in the characteristic Drake baby blue. And while most people would rejoice at the sight of a Louis Vuitton purse, Drake takes luxury a step further by incorporating the designer's luxurious gold embellishments and exquisite paintwork. Vuitton is renowned for its excellent standards and expensive prices, which are a result of the company's refusal to outsource manufacturing to lower-cost suppliers. The distinction is evident, and each picture of Air Drake demonstrates why the brand is a worldwide leader in style and fashion. Virgil Abloh, Louis Vuitton's men's design director, assisted with the overall paintwork. Imagine having a private aircraft that can accommodate 200 people. Drake can, despite the fact that he only has 30 chairs placed to optimize room. Mirrors with gold accents line the perimeter, and there are enough leather seats to declare his aircraft a luxury hotel in the skies. There's a king-sized bed in the master bedroom, two living areas, and a business lounge. The usual large-screen television and slew of tables make the trip seem more like a vacation than a flight. We wouldn't be shocked if Drake flies off for a short party in the skies just because he's bored. Surely the pandemic won't prevent Drizzy from utilizing Air Drake to promote his forthcoming sixth studio album, Certified Loverboy, on future tour dates. An official release date for the project has yet to be announced. What are your thoughts on Drake's private plane? If you had the chance, how would you equip your own 767? Leave a comment and let us know. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if so, then give it a thumbs up and ring the notification bell button for our latest updates. If you have any ideas for topics you'd like us to cover, do let us know. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.